by variety, the essence of television's early years. Adelaide Tonight flashed across the airwaves in 1959 with Lionel, Leona and me. Go away and play in tomorrow's flats. Don't go away. Don't go away. Oh? No, I'll clear this up for you. Thank you very much. That's all right. Another performer to debut that night was a very young Black and very nervous Kamal. Black is the colour. Live commercials were a feature. And ladies, here's big news. All this week, you can buy Kiora TV snacks at a special savings price at Cole Stores. All good fun, of course, with the lovely French singer Danielle. Kevin. Mademoiselle. <laughs> <laughs> I think she liked me. Adelaide Tonight, part of our lives, part of Adelaide's Channel 9. Controversial, sometimes infuriating, but always entertaining. That was Ernie Sigley, the little Aussie battle. Think about me sometime. Let me know you care. Ernie made Adelaide tonight his own yeah, show, and with Wilsey they made an unbeatable combination. All right. It's good. And we'll play Knessa too. <laughs> Ernie's sidekick Ian Fairweather also added tone to the proceedings. History records that Ernie and the gang got first crack at the brand new Festival Theatre. This could be the start of something big. Nothing but high class entertainment, of course. I feel like Humphrey Bear. Oh, Genki, you must come to one of my parties one night. <laughs> great fun, great television. Part of Adelaide's Channel 9. July 1965, and a quiet, shy young lass from the country auditions for the job of weather presenter. She didn't get it, we gave it to Wilsey instead. So that really actually means that tomorrow is going to be muggy. And very quickly made the weather a key part of the news. Go, but she didn't stop there. Would you buy a car from this girl? Sometimes even Ernie came off second best. You are a card. Oh, yeah, I should be dealt with. <laughs> Entertaining the troops, hosting movie shows, winning Logies, Wilsey has done it all. Wilsey, part of Channel 9. Entertaining South Australia. Remember when local footy was everything in sport? When the Saturday night replay was a must just to hear Wally May? Marriott hooks it up in front of the goals. He's caught! Oh, what a launch for the week of the season! Wally, well, he's got to do it. If you can mark like that and kick straight and win a grand final, you'll never ever forget it. All and one of the week's talking points, the Viscount goal of the day. Billy Barrett, however, with the ball. Oh, monstrous kick from Barrett. That's travelled 90 metres. 
straight through. Even KG got amongst it. Like that. <laughs> Always a trendsetter, our own KG and the footy. Entertaining South Australia. Country music's always been very popular in Adelaide. This was emphasised by the popularity of our own Country and Western Hour, produced here at Channel 9. Airing weekly for more than 10 years, it showcased artists from here and interstate. None more popular than Jill Freeman. Or the sweet harmonies of the Viscounts. Tragically lost in a plane crash, he is folk singer Tina Lawton with a very young Doug Ashdown. The epitome of country music, Colin Huddleston's Square Dance Court. Forty years of memories, we're still the one. Dick Whittington and his cat, Jack and the Beanstalk and Aladdin. All famous fables and all pantomimes produced here at Channel 9. I wouldn't let my mind wander if I were you. And why not? Because it's too young to go out by itself. Oh, I see. <laughs> Everybody took part, all the on-camera personalities and most of the staff. We weren't able to edit back then, so if you got 18 minutes into a 20-minute segment and something went wrong, back to the top you went. We were just looking, sir. <laughs> The crowning achievement, the amazing Christmas Day Theft, starring our very own Humphrey B. Bear and a fresh-faced youngster named Johnny Farnham. I think he looks better now. So do we, after 40 years of entertaining South Australia. Since 1977, Channel 9 has been synonymous with cricket. The look, the sound of the game changed forever. Remember these? What a great catch! He caught him, what a catch! The catch of the season without doubt! Oh, what a great catch! You need a local hero, of course. Here's one of ours. David Hooks 100 came in just 43 minutes. How about this for gripping television? The closing moments of the 95-96 Shield final. McIntyre defends. The Shield belongs to South Australia. A magnificent performance. Great moments, great viewing. Channel 9, 40 years of great entertainment.
television in South Australia was exciting and innovative, but not strong on safety or political correctness. Imagine anyone allowing a four-year-old bear to direct traffic at Adelaide Airport, or sending a presenter up the tower with no training or harness. Remember the Beach Girl quest? Miss South Australian Beach Girl 1977 is Vida Rakic. What about this lot? All part of 40 years, entertaining South Australia. Faces on television seem to come and go, even mine. But there's one face you can't forget. It's friendly, furry, and doesn't say much. Generations have known and loved this gentle four-year-old since 1965. The list of Humphreys co-stars reads like a who's who of Adelaide television. He's won Logie Awards, had his own pantomime, and even home videos. He also dances and claps his way into more places and countries than most of us would dream of going. Most of all, though, he's been a friend and companion to generations of South Australians, big and small. So, how was that? Did I get everything in? He's still the one. million dollars. In 40 years, that's how much Channel 9's telethon has raised for charity in South Australia. The first telethon went to air in 1960. 30 odd hours of live TV mayhem with all of South Australia pitching in to help raise money for the Crippled Children's Association. Push-ups and dares, music in the phone room, all part of the telethon tradition. The Miss Telethon Quest was both a fundraiser and a springboard to fame for some of the entrants. Anne North was the first Miss Telethon, later to be followed by Sue Barron. Yes, even Wilsey had a go, pipped at the post by Pam Weston. Times change and the TV marathons and the Miss Telethon Quest have become part of history. Telethon is still very much a part of Adelaide's Channel 9. We live in a world of constant change. Today's news reaches us via satellite as it happens. Not so 40 years ago. 
There weren't any satellite links in 1959, and most news was captured on film. An international event might be two days old before pictures arrived in Adelaide. John Doherty read our first bulletin, followed by many, many others. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, a new man has taken charge of the United States. Drama at the Adelaide Airport. The Norwood by-election and the marijuana party. Emotions are also running high in Russia. More than 2,000 people. Filipino President Cory Aquino. The four-week campaign is over. After 40 years, the world is instant, accessible, and here on National 9 News. Everybody talks about the weather. In 1959, the weather report was a little piece at the end of the bulletin, read by the newsreader, with no charts, no visuals of any kind. In July 1965, that changed forever, when we debuted a fresh, young weather presenter. Ice bars and cold fronts were never the same again. She didn't write backward, you know. They reversed the picture electronically. Wilsey made front page news when the temperature topped the old century mark, and she did the weather in her bikini. Today's the two Sues, Baron and Elborn, had stints at the map until the arrival of Barry Pittman. Barry Pittman makes the weather worth watching. It get cold in the early hours of the morning, down to six degrees. Like Even after 40 years, we can't bring you better weather, but we do bring you the weather better. home after school, what did you watch? If you lived in Adelaide, chances are you watched the Channel Niners. Bobo, Humphrey, Chico the Monkey, Robbie the Robot, not to mention Winky Dink, you saw them all. Lots of humans too, Denny, Glennis and Ian, through to Dean and Helen, Rob and Joey. We've got more on Channel Niners right now because it's time for Scooby-Doo. Yes. We all thought we could play the wobble board game or be a TAA junior flyer. If you had the urge to discover, the award-winning Curiosity Show filled the bill with Rob... And your chook should just stay there. ...and Dean... Try it on your friends. ...crossing television with science and nature to challenge and inform its young audience. For 40 years, it's been the same. We've grown up with Channel 9. Curiosity. 